Okay, so good afternoon. Today we are in Haddenham, uh, Buckinghamshire. Um, this is Dragon's Keep. As you can see, it's a beautiful, detached, chalet style property built by the current owner himself and extended over about five years ago. Um, the accommodation is quite vast and very individual. We're located right at the end of a cul de sac. As you can hear, there's just such a peaceful location. Tranquility at its best. Um, but follow me and I'm going to show you inside uh, to what the uh, property offers and what the vendor's done over the last few years. So, coming into the front door, we've got quite a nice covered entrance porch with some double glazed and inserted blinds which are controlled by the magnets. We have good space here with some cupboards, great for shoe, shoe storage, and then obviously coming through into the main reception area. This property sort of shows you open plan space to its best use. Um, you'll see as you come in, you have great sort of formal main living area with your cinema style seats, points to watch the TV, great inset fire, doors going out to the garden, dual aspect, so it's very light and airy. And we open up into this impressive reception dining area, which you see we've got a great size table here for I think 10 chairs, so very sociable. Then open to what was extended about five years ago, which is a very impressive conservatory, um, family room, whatever one desires to use it for, but you have some fantastic bifolding doors on three sides to really open up this space and bring the garden into the property. Fantastic entertaining space, very private. We then obviously have a, a section here where you have quite an impressive kitchen. Uh, again, good quality units, space for your wine fridge, obviously all your mod cons, you've got your, your Arga, um, array of storage, butler sink, nice rear aspect, it's a lovely kitchen, nice and social as I said before. So that's your main sort of living area, nicely open plan, so let me sort of come through to like uh, the, 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 the ground floor living accommodation. So I'm going to take you to the master bedroom first, we've got a, a delightful attractive oak staircase giving access to the first floor. We're sort of coming through. This is uh, one of the bedrooms which is currently being used as a sort of storage room, dressing room. Um, has an ensuite. You have additional bits of wardrobes. Um, so you've got an ensuite here, so this can be used as a bedroom, that's really what it's designed for. But coming through to the master bedroom, again, good size master suite, dual aspect window, so it's nice and light and airy in here. You've got fantastic ensuite with a jacuzzi bath, so it's inset, nice big shower. Lovely sort of ensuite bathroom. And then just at the rear of the master suite, you do have a walk in dressing room, which is quite a good size, good space. So, this is the master bedroom. So, just coming back through the corridor, we then sort of gain access to a further cloakroom, which always comes quite handy. And you've got some storage cupboards for the side. And then coming through to a further bedroom on the ground floor, again, which is really spacious, nice and light and airy, loads of wardrobe space. And again, you have a ensuite. So all five bedrooms in this property will have ensuite facilities. Another good sized double bedroom. 
So that pretty much concludes the ground floor. So what I'm going to do now is take you up to the first floor and to show you the, the space that's offered upstairs. Okay, so we're coming up to the first floor. So again, you've got a nice size landing. Skylight that gives a lot of light into the area. We've got two pretty impressive rooms up here. Um, this is one of the bedrooms. As you can see, great size. You've got some eaves, but it doesn't restrict you in any way. Nice sort of front aspect, sort of bay windows. Again, those are lights. And you have, again, an ensuite bathroom at the end. But it's a great size double bedroom. Just coming back through the landing to the other bedroom, which actually is probably big enough for an annex or for you know having an au pair or something of that nature. So you walk in to what could be a dressing area, living area. You have a door giving access, um, which I want to show you because it's a good space. So it's just an airy cupboard with a lot of space. Um, we then have obviously the ensuite bathroom. Then walk through sort of this attractive corridor that sort of takes you to another bedroom, which again is a good double. So, so this works really well for an au pair an older teenager that wants their own bit of space. So we have two bedrooms on the first floor. We've got two strokes, three bedrooms on the on the ground floor. We've got that all that open planned living accommodation downstairs. And I'm gonna just then take you downstairs and show you the outside space. Okay, so the gardens, um, as you can see, very private. Uh, we have an access to the driveway uh, behind with a gate where the garage currently sits. Um, it's a good sized garage. That was built approximately five years ago, the same time as the conservatory was added on to the back of the property, as you can see. You've got fantastic bike holding doors in all three aspects. Um, it's a great social and entertaining space. Coming round, obviously we have space here for Chukuti Bar. You're enclosed by a delightful Walled gardens, back into another garden's orchard. Again, we'll just look back at the delightful conservatory and all the internal accommodation. Uh, the grass here is Astro turf, so it's maintenance free. Lovely sunny garden, as you can tell. And we're coming to an area that the current owner has made into a, a bar, which is a great space, great for entertaining. We are going to put like a covering here so it can be used all year round. So that will be ready for the individual that purchased the property. And you then have got a fantastic built hut, which we, again is a great central space. Um, you can see many people in here. So it's a great sort of space for entertaining um, and enjoying the, the dry days your own private garden. You have side access round here, which I will just show you because it gives you an array of different areas and aspects of the garden. Again, we're still enclosed by some brick walling, which is an attractive feature. You have a fire pit area, nice tiled pathway giving us to the front additional storage. in Buckinghamshire. I'm Darren Hunt from College and County. Telephone number is 01844 399 292.
Please get in contact. I look forward to hearing from you.